We met as ministers of justice and I'm grateful for the uh, Commissioner Reinders who is uh, always uh, uh, helping us in all of our accountability endeavors. We're happy to have uh, uh, such commissioner and such president of Yellow Just, Vladislav, and our ministries of justice who are always with us. And we are all united on our way to deliver justice to all victims and survivors of this war. But it was historic uh, uh, also because we, did, we discussed all of the elements of our accountability, including our cooperation with the International Criminal Court. And just during our meeting, uh, we have received an information official statement of the ICC about new arrest warrants uh, issued by the ICC against two military commanders of Russia Federation. Both uh, these arrest warrants were issued for uh, for the attacks on critical civil infrastructure, and not only for war crimes. This is the first arrest warrant in our case issued for crimes against humanity. It took us many months of dedicated work of prosecutors, investigators uh, uh, of Ukraine, uh, different Ukrainian agencies who supplied the office of the prosecutor of the ICC with thousands of evidences and, uh, and information. And uh, today we reached another milestone in, in ensuring justice for all victims and survivors of, of this war. These people will have a lot of difficulties even in traveling, uh, and this will keep for years and years. Of course, they have a right to appear before the court and to defend themselves after their charges will be confirmed by, by the ICC in, uh, as, a, as a next step of, of the procedure. But it's not our job as prosecutors to speculate when and how someone will appear behind the bar. Our job is to prepare a case, and time will show when and how these people could appear behind the bar. But justice, once again, it's important, should be delivered in time. We can't wait until we capture some of them. We need to prepare cases now, and we need to show to all Ukrainian people that justice is delivered in time.